Hello and welcome to Furrier's World, where we are back on the jolly old Sky Factory. And I've been messing around with Vein Miner, uh, trying to figure out how the hell Vein Miner works. And I think I've done it. I would say I've figured it out. I did lose all the saplings from this tree, but I figured out Vein Miner, so that's a bonus. I've bound it to a key on the keyboard, so when I press the key, it does its little Vein Miner dance, which is cool and useful. And we can chop trees down like that. Woohoo! And then we get everything in little heaps. Can I have apple? Can I have apple? Oh, and worm. Nice. Uh, it wears my tools out really damn quick. Because uh, it's absolutely killed those two uh, crooks that I had there. The two, the two, the two crooky crooks that I had there. And it looks like it makes me hungry too, but that can't be right. That can't be right, can it? Can that be right? I don't know if that's right. It doesn't feel right to me. Let's get these trees down. Out of the way. Using our new skill that we have acquired. The Vein Miner skill. Oh, look at it. Everything's wrecked. Everything's literally wrecked. I'm going to forget which key I bound that to. And I'm going to rebind it every damn time I start this server up, I guess. Because I'm an idiot, generally speaking. Um, there's, there's, there's no denying it. I am technically an idiot. I do like it, though. It's, it's going to be marvellous. It's going to make life so much quicker when it comes to grinding things. Which we do a lot of on this map. When we first start out getting all the all the the, the cobble and the gravel and the, everything else and the, the the other stuff and the things and, and bits and bobs and stuff, it takes forever to actually make some progress. My axe is gone. It's literally just gone. It's 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 not here anymore. Someone has taken my axe. Uh, I suspect destiny may have taken my axe. Uh, the robbing swine. Uh, I keep pressing shift instead of the right key. I probably need to rebind that somewhere closer to, to where I'm actually working with my hand, because that's just awkward. Mind you, it stops me making mistakes, I suppose. Uh, I think my axe ran out there. That looks like a, a likely contender. So we got torches. When we were last here, we put out torches, and that's a bonus thing. Uh, bear with me a second. I've forgotten to start my timer, because I'm timing these episodes. I am doing that timing thing that people done thought was a good plan. So we're going to give it a, give it a blast with the timing. Hopefully, make some progress on that. Uh, we store that, store that. Um, I don't store the charcoal. Why not? Uh, let's go. Let's go kill some fools over here. All of these here fools need needs to kill him. Okay, we got a couple of bones out of that, which is good. Bones is good because then we can then we can tick some more boxes. Mind you, killing everything is good. Oh, I saw a potato. I've got the potato. Oh, we've got a sword. Why the hell am I using... I could be using a sword on these jerks. I like this mob grinder. This design of mob grinder is, like, really handy and small and bijou and compact. Everything's broken. Literally everything's broken. You guys got lucky because everything broke. I don't need to kill you. Or I can't actually... Oh! Someone was getting riled up in there. I don't know what that was all about. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. We got we got a rib bone. We got two rib bones. Oh, look at all the bones we got. That's perfect. That's that's literally that's fantastic. And we got a potato. We might plant the potato. If we had some dirt, uh, yoink, we could plant the potato. Let's fill, fill, finish, finish the tree farm first, though. Let's get our priorities right. Tree farm means tree success, which is one of the the key ingredients that we need in our lives right now. The tree success. Uh, I feel, I feel that's the key ingredient. We need to, we need to get some cobblestone, ground down to make dust, uh, and then we can, we can use some of our water to make, make, make clay. And clay, I think, is is the path to the future. Uh, right, we need to make some tinker, tinker station stuff, don't we? So let's grab all our wood and make some tinker, t tinker, 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 tinker things. I said tinker a lot there. I may have said tinker too much. I don't know if you, you agree with me. Let's turn, turn turn all this into some wood. Then let's make some sticks. I think this is the way we do it. I haven't made tinker stuff in a while. It's been a long time, guys. It's been, been, been a wee while since I've done any tinker stuff. Uh, that gives me... Oh, good. It gives me uh, quite a large amount of that, and that's, that's splendid. So we'll have one of them, which goes with that, and that gives us the stencil table. Nice. We'll have one of them, and that, which gives us the part builder. Splendid. Then we need a crafting table, I think. 
this is how it works and one of them and that gives us the tool station and then there's one more there is one more there's one that you put with a chest i mean this isn't this isn't a massive requirement this one but it is a nice nice bonus to have and then we can come over come over here maybe here looks about right here here will do uh no mm, i don't know i can make some more chests i've decided i'm going to make some more chests Apparently, I'm going to make one more chest, which is a bit wretched. Not exactly what I had in mind. This should be enough to make two chests. There we go. Nice. Three chests. Excellent. That's the right number of chests. And I've got another book. I've got another book. So we can have him next to him. And then we can do that there. Excellent. Uh, so we will put our book in here. We might be able to make a bookshelf, actually. That would be a good thing if we could make a bookshelf. What? Tinker book is that? Tinker's weaponry. Ooh. Might fancy some of that. Might be fancying some of that bad boys. What are we working towards, actually? What, we haven't done a big green t tick in a long time. And I feel we should be. Use a hammer to turn cobble into gravel. Okay. So that's where we're up to. That's where we're up to. So we got we got we got focuses to do. We got focuses, focuses to focus in on. Uh, so we want that and I think that goes next to the stencil table so we'll pop him there uh, stencil table goes there and then the part builder or the tool station part builder goes next to him there and then the tool station goes pretty much on its own there like that so that should be able to access the pattern chest and that should be able to Shouldn't that be able to access the pattern chest? I thought that should be able to access the pattern chest. So what tools did it want me to make? I'm sure it, it, it specified specific tools for me to make. Materials and you. Cool. Uh, what tools did it think I should be making? Um, make the Tinker Construct. Tinker's Construct tools from bone or flint. Well, bone it is. Um, at least at least before before we get too embroiled in the game. So we'll chuck them in there. We will have uh, probably an axe. I'm thinking an axe. Uh, the axe head pattern we will have. Uh, and we'll need... We can use a wooden stick with the axe head. That's fine. Will we have... Maybe we should go for a bone sword too. That might be a plan. That might be a plan. Indeed it might. We'll have the pickaxe head pattern. Because that's always a good one to have. And I think that requires the tool binding pattern. Which we can easily, easily, easily secure there. Uh, and we want maybe a sword. A tinker's sword. What is this? Knife blade. No. Sword blade pattern. That'll do. And we will have... What are you? Chisel head. No. We just want a hand guard. Hand guard pattern. That will do. Nice. That should give us enough to make at least something that's viable. So we'll pop all them in there. And then we can go into this one. And we can say we've got nine bones. Uh, we want initially an axe head pattern. There we go. We got an axe head pattern. We want maybe a sword blade pattern. We can't make a sword blade out of bones. That's the thing we can't do. So that's that's all good. That's all good. We can go with the pickaxe instead then. We'll, we'll chuck the pickaxe in there. We can't make a pickaxe out of uh, bones? Okay, we can't make a pickaxe out of bones. That's a little disconcerting, upsetting, traumatizing, if you will. Uh, but we can make the, the, the hatchet. And that's good, because the hatchet then only needs to be repaired every once in a while. And we can do that. That shouldn't be a problem. How many... So we'll put our bones back in the chest. All like that sort of thing. Grass seeds. Tempted to, to see if we can push for a hell of a lot more dirt and get some grass on the go. And then maybe some animals can join us and we can have a... Is there something on the horizon over there? Looks like there's something on the horizon. I don't know. There may be something on the horizon. There may be something scary out there. Scary for, for all of us to be worried about. Well, mostly me because I'm kind of on my own here. Right, let's do that, and have we got any half slabs? We have got some half slabs. 
So this is the full extent of the tree farm. We're not going to go beyond this with the tree farm. We've, we've, we've done the tree farm dance. We don't need to do any more dancing with the tree farm. I don't think, anyway. Uh, so we will vein miner this tree. And that broke the, the thing straight off the bat. So we'll get another one in. It's bizarre having the key binding on the other side of the keyboard. Which is just, just weird. It's weirding me out quite a lot. That, that, broke the, that broke the thing. Okay, fair enough. That still works, though, so that's a bonus. Uh, we don't want to kill that one yet, because we haven't actually managed to get everything out of it. We need... Oh, we've got the, we got the pickaxe head pattern for some reason. We don't want that. Put that back. There we go. Um, rotten flesh as well. Well, you can have the rotten flesh. With, with pleasure, you can have the rotten flesh. I've got quite a party going on in there again. No Enderman. I'm sure that's big enough to have Enderman in. But there's no Enderman. L li literally, if you count them all, there's there's none. I'm going for four. Which should make me four of these things. No. That would be a mistake. What Furry did there, literally a mistake. Twelve of them. No, let's not. Let's just make one, two, three, four. Like what we said we would. Sorted. Right, let's get some of these trees down. You, go away. Nice. Nearly knackered the thing in one hit, but that's fine. It's quicker. And quicker is good. Yep, that's sorted. It, the inventory did its did its little dance and sorted its shizwaz out. Nice. And then we can just badoosh. How does chopping down the trees... I mean, that's not slow. But presumably that is going to skill me up more than the vein miner approach would. I mean, that... Is that going to do as much good for me as chopping down the whole thing on its own? Oh, it's raining again. It's raining again. This is good. This is good. We need, we need to, We could do with making another barrel and catching some more water. Uh, it's only a temporary barrel. It's just a, a quick barrel. Just a, a quick aside barrel. We need to quickly throw one up as best we can. Uh, let's get rid of this tree. Nice. Nice job. That axe is holding up surprisingly well. Right, let's make it. Let's let's throw down a quick barrel just so we can get some more water. I feel that's the right thing to do. So if we do that and then we split the whatevers, whatever we're just clicking all the wrong buttons because we're trying to do it in a hurry, which is fine and or dandy. We'll throw this barrel temporarily there. That will fill up with rain. Yes, it is doing nice. And that should get us our water source and everything we need. Go with the water source. Everything's, everything's going to be fantastic. There we go. Trees all taken care of, courtesy of Vein Miner. Nice job. Uh, dirt is ready. So we'll throw more of that in there. And this next dirt we can sieve. From now on, we are sieving dirt. Ah, but I'm tempted for the grass, aren't I? I am tempted for the grass. Let's go see how well this bone hatchet deals with turkeys. And let's see if we can make this path better, because this path is a little bit scary. I don't know how you feel about the path, but I feel the path is is you know a little bit scary, and I don't I don't like being scared on paths. But if we make it a little bit wider, we should be less inclined to do the magic falling off trick that we do sometimes do. We, it's not inconceivable that we will plunge to our death randomly. I nearly did it then. I panicked. I, I literally panicked. There was, there was panic in my eyes and in my heart and in my soul. That's where the panic lives. And if we make that one wider too, then there's literally no chance of us accidentally, inadvertently plunging randomly to our sad, wretched, miserable death. There we go. Nice job. Now, we don't want Vein Miner on for that, because that would just ruin everything. That's why I bound it to a hotkey, so I don't have any Vein Miner accidents. Because uh. I don't want any Vein Miner accidents. I see the little baby zombie poking his head out. Okay, it works quite well. It's quite effective axe. I'll give it that. It's doing some damage to the jerks. It doesn't hold up as well against these as it does against trees. There we go. There we go, we leveled up our tool. This is going to be the best. Is there a skeleton in here? There is a skeleton in here. I knew there was something going on. I could hear him clattering his little bones. Oh, we'll have like that. Bones about. So that was a good haul. We got a good haul out of there. 
that was a that was a fantastic gathering we just done. So we'll put some of that. Oh, we've got a witch's hand. Nice. Nothing but the best. Witch's hands all the way. Ooh, we've got three three more Mr. Wigglies. Cool. Uh, we, the dirt's done. Where'd the dirt go? Where'd the dirt go? Come back, dirt. Don't don't be doing hide and seek with me. I don't want that. That's not how we play. Uh, let's see if we can get our clay. That's kind of what I'd like to do now. So I've made one tool with... Oh, we're not going to be able to get... Are we going to be able to get... Is there such a thing as a wooden hammer? Is that a thing we can make? Is, is this a thing you can make? It is a thing you can make. Okay, cool. So we should be able to get our clay. If we plop that down and then go to town on it with a hammer. Job's good. And pop that down and go to town on it with a hammer. Like that. We get sand. Nice. Nice. Plop that down. Go to town on it with a hammer. We get dust. Click on that with dust. We get clay. Put the clay down and go to town on it with a hammer. We should get four little knobs of clay. Nice. That should be craftable into un bouquet. Nice. Unfired clay bucket. That can go in the furnace, which we've already got, because we're on top of the game with two slabs. And that should give us a fired clay bucket. And we've got two barrels of water. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Nice. Nice. We can now make it infinite water su supply. Where are we going to do this? Where in the seven circles of hell are we going to make our infinite water supply? Let me try a quick F7. I'm curious. Yeah, I thought there might be issues over here. I, I did have a feeling in my in my bowels and in my water that there was going to be an issue over here. Right, what we'll do is we'll take the water out of that barrel and put it in that barrel. Then we can use our hatchet of joy to get rid of this barrel, like so. Uh, we'll put him in. We'll put him in storage for now. We don't want to. We don't want to throw him away. We'll just keep him to one side. I wonder if I can put a torch on the side of there. No. No, no torch over here at all. That's not supposed to make a noise. That's literally not supposed to make a noise. I've turned noise off on my phone, but still, apparently, it, it seems determined to make a noise. That's fine. That's absolutely fine and dandy. We've got four of the slabs, so they can actually go underneath there, and then we're out of slabs. Yeah, that figures. I need to make another crafting table, I think. I think that's the thing I want to make. Here we go, crafting table, we'll turn it into the crafting thing, and we'll take it over here, and it can go next to this one, because that's where I feel it belongs. There. Nice. And then we can make more slabs in there by doing that. Excellent. And here, yeah, that's all good. That can go there. And then, round the back, if we can actually get round the back, how far can we reach over there? Can we reach to there? And can we plop a torch on that? There we go. That should sort out the lighting issue over here. There we go. We're doing great. We're doing great, guys. We've got Vein Miner working for us. We've got more dirt to sieve, um, which we will do now. Uh, and basically, we're going to get into the grind of it all now. Just just grinding away at the thing. we got some seeds there. Nice. We're doing okay for food and stuff. I mean, we've got grass seeds, we've got seeds, we've got a potato, which is the luckiest thing on earth. We've got our bucket, which is which I'm kind of happy about. I'm kind of happy we've got the bucket. You can have the clay. I'm keep, keep keeping hold of the bucket for the time being. We'll just keep stones to one side because I think I think we need to focus on getting enough clay to make the crucible. I think that's where we're going to go. So from furry ears world for now, we're going to go with a little bit of uh, ta-ta.